so the main focus on this lesson is the french revolution The French Revolution was initially had an absolute monarchy. You all know what is the meaning of absolute monarchy. Absolute monarchy is a term which is used to uh, explain the authorities of a power of a particular person who is running the government. and who is whose words are final there is no more authority above him to go and appeal there so this kind of authoritative person who is heading the government is known as absolute monarch that too when he is from a royal family and he is king this words are appropriate so in france we had the absolute monarchic system in existence till the year 1789 Once the revolt broke out in 1789 the people have marched out of their houses walked on to the streets blasted the bastille palace made the king to run away from there and they decided we did not go for absolute monarchic system further we would go for our own governance of body of active citizens so they decided to have body of active citizens the body of active citizens means here that the people who are actually facing problems will be the part and parcel of the system of governance they do not want somebody from a royal family will be dictating them what to do and what not to do but it would be better for them that if the same people who are really facing problems who are in the scenario would be there present so they decided to have the body of active citizens who will plan and further shape the future of the nation so their duty is to shape the future of the nation so when you talk about the shaping the future of the nation what do they do what do they want to do actually they want to have a uniformity of laws there should not be any discrimination to anybody there is a new concept emerging out outside like equality there should be equality for everybody this land belongs to everybody everybody belongs to the same country there is no discrimination of based on the richness and the poorness so they brought the word called la patri meaning fatherland la patri meaning fatherland so the la patri meaning fatherland means that this land belongs to everybody especially those who belong to that particular nation and they also brought the concept of licitium means citizenship citizens you are the people or the citizens of this nation your fatherland is this they also brought a new tricolor flag tricolor flag which is clear that this flag is a symbolization of a new nation to be emerging outside they also renamed the elected representatives as the government for themselves so they renamed the existing system they changed the names they brought new patterns they brought new hymns new songs and the martyrs who have sacrificed their lives in the struggle of the freedom to get this structure so they commemorated the martyrs were commemorated the new hymns were sung uh, the language which are spoken regionally which are having the regional dialectics were being discarded french which is spoken in paris the paris the capital of france has been made the official language of the french so these all aspects made it very clear for the people 
that we need to understand this very clearly the change of a pattern of the existing system from the absolute monarchy to the elected representatives the new government coming stepping in rather than replacing the existing things and the citizens were made very active people started to participate very actively in the system they also decided that this awakening should happen for every nation in the europe so they literally want every nation the europe to have different different nations different nationalities to be coming up in europe the concept of nationalism should emerge in europe this ideology is made it very clear that is the reason why it is rightly known as when france sneezes europe gets cold so the revolution first started in france it started to spread to all the countries in europe it spread to germany it spread to italy it spread to hungary it spread to austria so it started to spread on to all the countries poland czechoslovakia all these countries started to turn up towards the existing system they started to think on the lines of french revolution the concept of equality the concept of citizenship the ideology of nationalism has been spreading up in all the countries of europe so this is not a one day process and if, uh, french revolution people always they thought that we need to advocate this ideology to all people then only this ideology can be spread to various other people and they all can come under the categorization of the different nations rather than coming under the different kingdoms so this was the initial understanding of french revolution if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus